I, I don't even know how to explain myself. I don't even have words. I don't know what just happened, but that was very suspect. My camera just went black, stopped recording, then turned back on. Am I gonna have to redo everything that I just did? It's like it knows that it's being replaced. I got a new one of you coming. That's right. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so my entire introduction was just erased. Sick. Okay. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today we're going to be doing three advent calendars in one video, which means we are into the 20s. However, that does not mean we are anywhere near done with all the advent calendars that I purchased for this series. Maybe instead of having like a 25 calendar countdown, we can have a 25 days of calendars. And then on just several days, I could do like a bunch in one. You know, like five and one. Anywho, today we're gonna be getting into three different calendars from iHeart Revolution. We have a couple over here. We got one down here. These are the three that we're gonna be doing today, but apparently I missed out on like the other 47. iHeart Revolution has more advent calendars per capita. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I, more advent calendars than any other beauty brand I have ever seen. According to beautyadventcalendar.net, which is a website that I really should have known of like before this moment, they have 10 different advent calendars for 2021. Where were these? I didn't see these. The calendars that I did actually see and pick up for the channel are the You Are The Revolution advent calendar. This one is 40 pounds. 40 pounds in USD. Or $53.28 and it is worth 87 pounds. 87 pounds in USD. Or $115.88. I also got the Friends Revolution advent calendar, which I'm really hoping this one is good because I gave this as a present to a friend who enjoys friends. So uh, hopefully it's good and I didn't just give her junk for her birthday. I feel very bad about that. This one apparently is also 40 pounds or $53.28. It does not give a value for this one. And then finally I got the 12 days of chocolate advent calendar. This one I believe was 30 pounds. 30 pounds in USD. Or $39.95. So we have an assortment of calendars here. Let's just go ahead and get started with the chocolate one. I've had a lot of people telling me that I should just get like a regular chocolate advent calendar because they're much less disappointing than these makeup ones. Um, I've never Ever had a chocolate advent calendar before which is shocking because of who I am and how much I do enjoy candy uh, but I guess this is close enough okay right here precisely this moment is where I make my first mistake um, you guys will see what I'm talking about in just a second this rolled halfway across the room it's literally a square how did it do that how did it have that much momentum right off the bat here I'm just a little bit saddened by this particular advent calendar because this isn't an advent calendar. Um, this is just a box of stuff. Am I doing something wrong here? Yes, very obviously so. It says on the back, open a door each day to reveal a chocolatey treat. There's no doors in this. This is like an open concept home. You can just walk all right through it. There's absolutely no doors. I mean, the stuff looks pretty cute. I just don't feel like they should market this or advertise this as an advent calendar. Am I missing something? Brain cells, maybe? Just a thought. I'm sure there are 12 items in it, but like anything that comes in a pack of 12, you can't just call it like an advent calendar. You can't buy like a 12 pack of pain socks from Walmart and call it a 12 day advent calendar because they're just a pack of socks. They happen to be one for each day, but it's not the same. The amount of times I double down on this not being an advent calendar is both hilarious and infuriating. So I'm gonna cut the rest of those out until I finally come to like the full recognition that this is indeed an advent calendar. Uh, anyway, I'll show you guys what is inside of here. So the first little item that we have is the Ruby Cocoa blush. This actually looks like a really pretty but also very intense color. I'm assuming it's supposed to be like the ruby chocolate, which is pink chocolate. How they do that, I, I don't know. Um, but it actually looks a little bit more grapefruity, maybe like a ruby red grapefruit. So that's day number one. I guess anything could be day number one at this point. It's it's anarchy. Next in here, we have a very slimy feeling I Heart Revolution chocolate. Well, there is no name or anything for it. It's just a lip gloss. For some reason, it is very, very slippery. I'm assuming a little bit of the oils or something have leaked out from it. Ooh, it smells like peaches. You can get me with peaches anytime. You can make anything smell like peaches and I'm gonna be like, oh. Okay, so the next thing we have in here, oh, this is a lip gloss. I definitely thought this was gonna be a liquid lipstick and I was a little bit concerned about it because it does look like a very kind of grayish, beigey, purple color, which I thought might make me look a little zombie-ish, you know, a little living dead-ish. Oh, this actually smells like chocolate. Okay, I was hoping things in here would actually smell like chocolate. That's why I smelled the blush at the beginning. It does not smell like chocolate. Oh, you know what? I actually really like this color. At first I was like, that's a little corpsey for me. Um, but when I put it onto the skin, there 
is a bit of like pink and red in it. I think that's a really nice color. Okay, well on day four, I guess, um, we have another lip gloss in here, which is very similar in tone. Looks a little bit different actually on camera. This one, however, is much more purpley, so that should be interesting. Oh, it also smells really chocolatey. Yeah, I actually like the other color a lot more than I like this one. This one's a little too pink for me, which is kind of strange to say because it looks so purple on this tube. This lighting in here is also horrific. I just have lights set up with like sheets draped over them. I look like I live in an abandoned Victorian haunted house. I'm working on it. I promise I will fix it. I'm also getting a new camera, so hopefully quality of everything will improve. I'm also wiping the slip gloss on my pants. I'm doing it. It's fine. It'll be fine. All right, let's mix things up a little bit here on day five um, and look at one of the brushes. I actually think these are really pretty. I'm liking this kind of monochrome pink. I think it's really cute. I like the different tones of pink. These feel pretty nice. I don't think I've ever tried any brushes from Revolution before. But the bristles do feel pretty soft, so that's good. Let's just be rebels here. Let's just do it, shall we? We were gonna open up two days, two doors <laughs> at once. Like I said, there are no rules with this advent calendar because it isn't. But, 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 no, no. The next two things we have in here for day six and seven are two other little cute pink monochromatic brushes. It doesn't necessarily tell you what they are or anything, but this looks like a little flat like shader and this is kind of like an eh, kind of angled, not super angled, <laughs> angled brush. Day number, if there are four days left after this one, then this one must be day number eight. Wow, first grade math, good for me. Um, so the next item we have in here looks like an eyeliner and judging by the little tip there on the end, I'm assuming it is a black eyeliner, which is very classic for everything. Just jabbing it in there. It looks so much like a Crayola colored pencil. Day number nine, we have a brow gel. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if it's gonna be a clear brow gel, if there's gonna be any color to it. Is it gonna smell like chocolate? Probably not, most of the stuff smells like tequila. Oh, it smells almost like nothing. <laughs> but it is just a clear brow gel. I said most of the stuff smells like tequila. That's not true. I've only had one that smelled exactly like some Jose Cuervo or something. It was so incredibly strong. If I drove, <laughs> which I don't, if I drove and I ever got pulled over, over with that brow gel on, I would be terrified because my face would smell intoxicated. All right, next up here, it looks like we have a very sparkly, I'm assuming highlighter. There's a lot of glitter in there. That is not exactly my favorite type of highlighter, one with like a lot of chunky glitter. It does not smell like cocoa either. With this blaring light here next to me, can you guys see just how like shiny and shimmery it is? All right, next up in here, we have just a little special surprise. Um, This is a Revolution Beauty mirror, and I feel like you get something like this in every single single advent calendar, whether it's a little mirror or a keychain, or just something that isn't in the actual like makeup line. And sometimes that can be kind of cute. Like maybe this is something that you can't buy like outside of the advent calendar. But what I am pretty sure of is that like the cost of these types of items to put in an advent calendar, I'm sure is like almost nothing for the company. So when you're paying for the advent calendar, you're paying kind of like an average price for each day. And then you get something like this that probably costs them pennies to make and you're paying like several dollars for that door. So then like they get lots of profit from like this item being inside the advent calendar. I think anyway, I could be very wrong, but I think that's what's going on. And then finally, last but not least, day number 12, I assume, we have an eyeshadow palette. And this does look, it's cute. It does look a little clairsy. It does indeed. Um, Looks a little, maybe even poly pockety. This also does not smell like chocolate. I was really hoping everything in here would smell like chocolate. And the colors inside, they are pretty interesting. This one's kind of showing up green, but it's actually like a gold in real life. Lots of pinks, lots of shimmer. It's an interesting selection, assortment of colors. Maybe not what I would personally put together for a palette, but to me personally, this calendar is reading just a little bit on the younger side with like the lip glosses, the really shiny highlight, the really, really pink blush, the super pink eyeshadow, and the super pink like brushes and stuff. This one is just reading a little bit on the younger side to me. And what's honestly getting me so much about it how incompetent <laughs> can you be? I, I don't even know how to explain myself. I don't even have words. You know what I just saw when I was looking at this box? This little thing, this is a sticker. Typically stickers hold things together. Bet you money if I cut this sticker open and then opened it up, bada bing, bada boom, it's an advent calendar. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really, on. I try my best to not mess things up constantly, but this is just, this is reality, this is what it is. I could put all those back inside of this advent calendar, slide it into here, refilm this like nothing ever happened, but I'm not gonna do that, I'm just not. I'm gonna let you guys experience my just incompetency with me 
And um, yeah, it is an advent calendar. It's an advent calendar. That's what I was like most hung up on is like, oh, this isn't even an advent calendar, but it is. I'm just not observant. Okay, um, yeah, so it is an advent calendar. I'll give it that. Uh, I do think maybe 40 bucks, I do think might just be like a tiny bit much. I don't really know though. I don't purchase much from iHeart Revolution. I don't know much about like their makeup quality. But just seeing what's here, I would say this is more of like a $25, $30 advent calendar maybe. Okay guys, let's go ahead and move on to the second advent calendar. This one I promise I'll open up correctly. Anything that's a sticker, I'm just gonna cut it. Ooh, cute. Okay, this one I'm pretty excited about. It, it is an advent calendar, just like the first one. There are um, little boxes here, individual 25 boxes with all of the items inside. I think the packaging is pretty cute. I like the differences, all the colors, and, like the shiny and stuff. It looks like we have a lot of things to go through. So let's just go ahead and start here with day number one. All right, starting things off here, very advent calendar -y. The first thing we have is a very bright, bold red lipstick. I thought it said this was in the shade Swallow. This is in the shade Slow. Kind of looks like a waxier type of lipstick. Maybe not like the creamiest or the smoothest. Yeah, it's definitely on like the waxy-ish kind of side. It also comes off, I just swatched it just like a tiny bit. It comes off a little bit more pink than it does super, super red. All right, moving on here to day number two. Oh my goodness, what is that? Okay, the next thing we have in here is like a straight up silver liquid eyeshadow that is incredibly silver. Ooh, it actually swatches pretty well. I wasn't sure like how pigmented it would be, but like, like, especially in that bright shining light, it's looking pretty good. Day number three is next. This is a pretty long little box. Ah, all right. So the next thing we have in here, which is also like kind of just slimy feeling, very, very slick. We have a, another lip gloss, but this time it's in like a very iridescent-y clear shade. Apparently this is called strobe, which makes a lot of sense. That liquid silver eyeshadow and this lip gloss are giving me very xenon vibes. Very girl of the 21st century. All right, day number four is next in a little square box. That is exciting. Just try not to cut off. Oh, don't open it like that. Next up we have a highlighter in the shade Condition. I actually like this shade of highlight. It's kind of just like a champagne-y pink color, which I think is really nice. This one isn't nearly as like chunky and glittery as the one we got in the chocolate calendar. It's just a little bit more of like a glow, which is my favorite. Sorry if I'm going a little bit speedy, you guys. We have a lot of days to get through and I think my energy drink and coffee are finally kicking in as I'm shakily trying to like do surgery on these boxes without ripping them. All right, next we have another brow gel. This time it is just in a little black tube. I'm gonna assume it is the same clear brow gel. Yes, it is. It has the same, almost no scent. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so one of these is day number six and then like one of them is day number nine, but I don't know which is which. I guess in the scheme of things, it doesn't really matter, but like, I'm gonna say this one's six. I don't know why, but this one feels six-ish to me. <laughs> I'm out of there, little guy. Okay, so the next thing we have in here is just the tiniest little beauty blender. I just wasn't expecting that when I opened the box. I thought it was gonna be another eyeshadow or something, but it's actually just like the itty bittiest little beauty blender. I just wasn't expecting that little thing in this box. <laughs> Moving on here to day number seven. This feels very lightweight. Oh, okay, so it looks like we have a little lip pencil to go with the red lipstick. This is a lip liner in the shade. It does not tell us, but uh, I'm assuming it is to go with the red lipstick. However, this one looks a little bit more like deep and burgundy than that super, super bright one did at the beginning. Day number eight looks really exciting here. We have a nice big shiny box. Let's see what we've got. So this item I'm actually pretty excited about. We have a eyeshadow palette here, but these colors look pretty fun, at least to me. I mean, they're neutrals and kind of like dark and stuff, but this is what I'm into. So we have a four pan palette here with actually quite large pans. We have kind of like a bronzy gold, black, gray, brown, very neutral stuff, but um, I like this kind of color palette. This is an in the shade Honey Honey. All right, day at number nine is next, or potentially it's number six, just being an imposter. Okay, the next one we have in here is a brow crown, and I'll be, crown, crayon, crayon, crown. It's a stick for your brows, a colorful stick for your brows. I'll be interested in seeing exactly what shade this is. Oh, it's clear. It's clear. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. I'm sorry if you guys can like really hear the wind outside. It is whirling out there like we're in the middle of a winter storm. It sounds like Winter winds littering London with lonely hearts. It's 66 degrees outside currently and doesn't feel a thing like winter. All right, day at number 10 is next. We have another long box, which a lot of these are, are long boxes, so not surprising. You guys are wondering why I'm opening all these with a knife. It's so much easier to open little boxes like this without ripping them to shreds if you just like pry a knife underneath them. Paper, a brush. Okay, so the next item we have in here is another little angle brush. This one honestly looks a lot better than the one in the chocolate advent calendar. It's a lot more like thin and actually pointed. The other one was like a little bit wonky on top, we're not gonna lie, but this one has like a nice angle to it. 11 is up next here. This definitely looks like some type of lip product. We have another lipstick here. This time we have the shade Baby. 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 Ah. 
Okay, we, we, baby is a little broken. We got a, we got a broken baby here. Okay, so the uh, lipstick itself looks like a really pretty shade, but it is broken. Definitely is a little bit worse for wear, looking pretty beat up, banged up, but um, I mean, the shade looks nice. Moving on here to day number 12, almost halfway through this advent calendar. Okay, so we have another lip gloss here and they're just getting like increasingly more purple as we go. So this one is super duper purpley berry looking, like a nice cranberry grape, like a, like a, I was trying to think of a combination of cranberry and grape together. Cranape. Cramp. Cramp. This one doesn't smell like chocolate. This one smells like vanilla. And this one's also like a lot more see-through. What's that word I'm looking for? Like translucent. <laughs> this one isn't as pigmented. There is a lot more like skin peeking through. It seems a little bit more like clear. Crepe. Crepe. That makes much more sense. All right, next up we have day number 13 and we have another little lip gloss in a tube. This time it's not slimy, so that's good. Um, So we have another lip gloss here. This one is again, kind of like a crepe color. It is in the shade Sugar Jam. I kind of like that name. I think that's a cute name. This one smells like nothing. All right, next is day number 14. And it appears we have another eyeliner. I'm gonna assume it is another Crayola looking pencil. Yep. So just a wooden sharpenable eyeliner. Feeling a little bit on the empty side and we have had experiences with empty products in these advent calendar series. So let's see if there's anything in here. Surely there is. Okay, I'm thinking it's another brush because I'm seeing a bit more paper. All right, so this looks like another angle brush, but honestly, it just looks like one that got a bad haircut. Um, it's something about this, it is not cut correctly. It's very wonky looking. I can like almost tell where the blades were supposed to go and then just didn't. Moving on here to day number 16. I'm trying to go fast for you guys so you don't have to watch like a five hour long video. Oh, interesting. What is this? Oh, it's an eye primer. Okay, less interesting for me because I don't really wear eye primers, but if you like eye primers, there's one in here. Um, So yeah, this is just an eye primer. It looks like one of their lip glosses or anything else that comes in a doe foot applicator and little tube. Day number 17, we have another fun looking box here. Maybe we'll get another eyeshadow palette or something. Or maybe we'll get another exclusive <laughs> revolution makeup mirror so this time we have one that just looks all pink and marbly which i mean they're definitely cute there's something easy to like throw in your purse don't take up a lot of space and i mean honestly it's a very useful item a mirror to me at least is always useful to have i just know that, that profit margin is fantastic just has to be. All right, day number 18 is next. The next thing we have in here is an eyebrow pencil. This is the first color like eyebrow product that we have received. Again, I just think it's difficult to put a color brow product into an advent calendar, but you know, it's very it's parched. It is parched. Wow. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it there, but it is a very dry product. However, if you're wanting to go for like some really like wispy little like flicks or something on your brows, that might work out. This one's a little bit on the hefty side. I'm feeling like another lip gloss maybe. Oh, day number 19 is what we're on now. And we have, ooh, is this another eyeshadow? It is. This one actually looks really pretty. Super shiny, silvery, like Y2K eyeshadow. I can't believe Y2K is like a thing now. I see so many things things like as I'm shopping for my vintage store it's like vintage Y2K <laughs> my goodness oh yes that is actually a beautiful shade super pigmented very creamy feeling this one I'm actually really excited about this is probably my favorite product so far day number 20 is next we just have five more after this one okay we have a another blush here this is also in a very intense pink shade this is called flirt it is very very bright very very Pink. It, just does, it doesn't smell very good. A lot of these products don't smell very good, but I guess that's not what we're here for. <laughs> I guess you're not just supposed to be like walking around smelling your blush. All right, we are on to the last five days of the advent calendar. We have day number 21. Okay, so I actually, I don't know what you use this kind of brush for. I'm honestly not sure. Maybe like concealer or something. It's like a long, flat, rounded something. I don't know. I really don't. Um, It also looks like it might not have had the best haircut ever. Not as bad as the angled brush, but um, yeah, it's a little wonky on top. Honestly, you can use makeup brushes for anything you want, though. Just literally anything you want. It's just an apparatus to put things on your face. If you can scoop up makeup product on it and slap it onto your face, you can use it for any purpose you want. All right, day number 22 is next. This one is also feeling a little bit lip glossy. Oh, I think I actually guessed correctly this time. Uh, We have strayed away from purple, and now we are into just like hot pink. This is a very very, very pink lip gloss. It is in the shade Covert, which I'm fairly certain like Covert would relate color-wise to basically anything besides hot pink. Day number 23 is next. We have a cute little box here. 
Why did I smack the table? Like that would help. Ooh, this looks like a beautiful color. I am a, oh, never mind. Okay, well, it's still a very pretty color. Um, They're saying that this is a contour, which I'm sure a lot of people, this would be a lovely contour. However, for me, if you guys can tell, I don't really think this is in my shade range, but um, I think this would be a beautiful eyeshadow. This is like right up my alley as far as eyeshadow colors go. It's very warm and rich and brown. And uh, yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna use this as an eyeshadow. All right, guys, we are on our final two days of this advent calendar. Next up here we have day number 24. I'm thinking we might have another brush in here just based on the fact that like there's no sound. They wrap those puppies up good in that little paper. We do have another brush. It looks very similar to the little brush that we received in the chocolate one. It also feels very similar. Just a nice kind of like standard smaller size powder brush. Again you can use it for literally anything. I would use this for eyeshadow. This is actually much smaller than the brush that I use currently for eyeshadow so it'll work. We are on to the final day of this advent calendar and I feel like we actually have a calendar that agrees with me that the last day should be the best day just based on the size of this box. If I open it up and it's just a sheet mask I might be a little sad but based on the weight it, I don't, maybe it's a couple sheet masks. Let's go ahead and see what we have in here. Hopefully it is something worthy of being the final day of the advent calendar. Yay! Okay so we actually have a full size. Was this a full? Yeah this has to be full size. This is big. Uh, a full size eyeshadow palette here and I think the colors in this are actually really pretty. I like the packaging as well. A lot of these do look very similar like tonally and then we have two shiny golds for some reason. This one just looks more chunky than this one but they're still both shiny gold so like maybe not the largest selection or range of shadows but I do like that it is a full size palette for the last day of the advent calendar like it should be and it looks like we have 15 pans in here that are actually pretty large size so I am happy with the final day of this advent calendar and honestly overall I think I'm happy with the entire advent calendar. We got like full size stuff. It's all makeup. It wasn't terribly expensive. And that's why I'm thinking like the chocolate one might just be a little overish priced at like 40 ish dollars. Because if this one was 50 ish dollars, I definitely think this is the better deal. You're getting 25 items in there, all full size makeup stuff. So if you're going for one of these calendars, I personally would definitely select this one. You know, I put all of these things like neatly back into their boxes after opening them up, thinking I could Tetris it back into here like it was in an attempt to be more organized but I don't think that's possible. <laughs> yes, this is exactly what it looked like when I got it. Mm -hmm. Closes perfectly. All right, and that brings us to the final advent calendar of the Revolution calendars for 2021, which is the Friends X Revolution calendar. This one is definitely the one I'm most excited about. Uh, the cardboard feels nice and sturdy. I really like the print on the front. I just also really, I just want it to be good. I want it to be good so bad. Okay, so it's really cute on the inside, but it doesn't have anything to do with friends on the little boxes, which I definitely was expecting it to. Um, I thought we would have like cute little friends references or something like on the actual inside packaging, but we do not. That is okay. So let's go ahead and begin here with day number one. I have to like pie cut it out. First piece is always the hardest. I am going to be fully honest with you guys up front. I have seen friends. I've seen every single episode probably multiple times. Will I remember all of these references? I will not. Do I remember what I did yesterday? I do not. Oh, if I don't understand a reference or something, I am very sorry. All right, so here for day number one, it looks like we have a little beauty blender. Oh, okay. So I actually did see my friend open up the first day of her advent calendar at her birthday party. So I did see this item. It does say Friends X Revolution on it. And then we have a little picture of the holiday armadillo. <laughs> so when Ross dresses up as the, well, the holiday armadillo, <laughs> it's pretty cute. I do feel like it feels really nice as well. Nice and squishy, little silicone-y feeling, which I like. I wonder how many clips from Friends I can put into this video for like reference points before I get in trouble. We'll see. Okay. So moving on here to day number two. It is also feeling very lightweight. Uh oh, okay. You know what? You know what? I was going to say, this is a scrunchie, isn't it? People got to stop putting scrunchies in things, but these are kind of cute and you do get three of them. So I think I'm going to give them a little bit of a pass here because they are very cute little scrunchies. They are friends themed and you do get three of them. So it's not like an individual single hair bobble. If I see one more hair bobble in an advent calendar, I'm going to freak out, but these are pretty cute. I like they're nice and silky. So we have the little picture picture frame that is on the door in the apartment and it's also on the front of the advent calendar. We also have one that is from Central Perk and then we have one with ducks on it. I don't remember the duck reference I have to say. However, it is a super cute little hair scrunchie. I also like that these are kind of like satiny because they're better for your hair. All right, day number three is up next. This one is a little bit more weighty. Oh cute! So the next item in here we have a little lipstick. I actually really like the packaging of this. It's just a little bit different. The color is really cute. I like the lips on the top. This lipstick shade is really 
really pretty. I'm loving that like kind of mauve shade. I like the little embossed kiss on the lipstick as well. However, I was hoping this would be named like after one of the friends or something. I'm not seeing any shade name on here at all besides T155A, but I don't think that's what it's supposed to be called. There's a little peely thing and I want to peel it real bad, but it's not peeling. Day at number four is, oh, that's nine. Okay, day number four, four is up next. Oh, I hear something clanging around in there. Wow. Okay, so the next thing we have in here is a little, I'm going to assume maybe lip, 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 lip gloss. I'm wrong every time. I assume it's liquid lipstick every single time and it never is. So we have a friend's lip gloss in a very, very bold, bright red color. Again, I'm not seeing like any fun shade names or anything. I think that's a little bit of a missed opportunity. I feel like they could give these really fun shade names that reference the show. Uh, there are cute little candy canes on the lid though, so that's, that's cute. Five is up next down here. Okay, so the next thing we have in here is a ready to party check and I don't know if that's a friend's reference or not. I gotta be fully honest with you guys. This is a makeup setting spray and I'm noticing that there's like a big hunk of glitter or something at the bottom so I'm guessing this has like a little bit of shimmer luminance to it. Luminance. Luminance. That's a word. You know when you say something and then you say it a few more times and it sounds like absolute gibberish? That's what's happening here. I did that with eggnog the other day. I had to write out we make eggnog candles so I had to write out eggnog several times to like put onto the labels and as I was writing it I was like how does a word have this many G's? It doesn't make any sense. I have to be writing gibberish. Again, I don't know. Hopefully this is some type of Friends reference to make it like a little bit more fun and exciting for people who really enjoy Friends. All right, day number six is in this tiny little, oh, heavy cube. Much more heavy than I expected. I was like, it's so tiny and little, but it's actually very heavy. Okay, so next up here, we have what looks to be like a little lip balm. But again, there's absolutely no reference to Friends with it. I don't understand. Uh, there's cute little gingerbread men on the top of it. And that's about like all the decoration or anything we get on here. No fun shade names, nothing. It doesn't even have to make sense. Like it lists, this could be called like pivot, right? Like that's like a very memorable moment from the show. It could be called Marcel. It could be literally anything from the show. Lobster? Lobster! Why wasn't the red lip gloss called Lobster? Do these have names somewhere and I'm just missing them? Like I don't want to read the back of this too closely because I don't want to give anything away, but I don't see names for these either. I feel like this is a huge opportunity missed out on. Okay, I almost did the six and nine thing again, but this time I know this is nine because because the bow was upside right. Oh, cute! Okay, so the next thing we have in here is just a little tiny set of travel size makeup brush. Lobsters! There are lobsters on this one! Okay, that actually makes sense. The other stuff doesn't make any sense at all. The gingerbreads and candy canes, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, but this one has tiny little lobsters on it. We get three travel size brushes in here. Again, we got one of those like long flat ones that I have no idea what to do with. We have like a poofy little powder brush and then another kind of flat shader. But these I actually think are super cute. I like that they say friends and revolution on them and they have tiny little lobsters. This makes sense for like a collaboration to me. All the other stuff that's not branded and doesn't have like a fun reference name to it just it just doesn't really make much sense to me. Okay next up we have day number seven which again is very small but also very heavy so maybe another little lip balm. Okay this time we have a lip scrub and yeah it's a cute little bottle of it. It has like nice frosted glass on the bottom and some candy canes but there is absolutely no reference to friends whatsoever. It smells pretty good. It just smells kind of like fruity a little berry-ish. I feel like it would have taken them just mere minutes to just select random moments or just like well-known phrases from the show and slap them on to like packaging. All right, so day number eight is up next here. We have some it sounds like loose pieces. Okay, this is pretty cute. <laughs> it's very tiny, but it is pretty cute. The next thing we have in here is just like the tiniest little cosmetic bag. It also has the ducks on it, so there must be some reference that I'm just fully missing. Oh, I love that smell. I love that plastic smell. It's a very particular type of plastic, but it smells so good. <laughs> I mean, this is super itty bitty. You definitely could fit your little travel size makeup brushes in there, but this to me would be more like, like a coin purse. Do, do people still have those? Do people still have coins? Yeah, you know, like a coin purse or just maybe for like lip glosses or something. It, it is pretty cute incompetency. What, how did I pull out nine, even talk about it being nine, and do it before I did eight, and not even realize it? It didn't even register with my brain. How does that happen? I guess we're moving on to ten now. Okay, so next up we have ten. Oh, cute! Is this gonna be a little eyeshadow palette? Okay, this is what I'm talking about. This is cute. It's a little eyeshadow palette. It's Friends X Revolution. Again, I don't know if When Your Favorite Tune Comes On is something from Friends, but the inside of it surely is not. So the shade names in here are 
gingerbread tree decorations mulled wine winter wonderland 25th star lights so very Christmassy <laughs> very holiday themed but it has nothing to do with friends it would be so incredibly easy to take anything from the show and make it these shades names shades names. I don't know if there's some like copyright kind of thing with that but I guarantee they didn't copyright like every word of the show if they could put central perk on something and like the frame on the front of this advent calendar surely they can use some like phrases from the show did I even show you the palette there it is it also has nothing to do with Christmas or holidays like as a color scheme at all it's very very brightly colored like this is this is like a summertime neon kind of palette all right today number 11 is Next up here, this is gonna be the longest video of all time. I promise you guys. We're already, we've been filming for like three hours. <laughs> all right, next up here, again, very exciting. We have another eyeshadow palette. This one is Did Someone Say Party? But I guarantee you this is gonna have nothing to do with friends. Okay, first off, I do enjoy this palette more. This is more my speed. It is a nice kind of more neutral palette, a little bit on the warm side. But again, we have all of these random, just kind of like candy cane, holidays, Xmas, Santa shade names. And then right here, the last one at the very end, Armadillo. There's like one Friends reference in this entire palette. Between these two palettes, there's like one Friends reference. And that's what I mean, like Armadillo. You can't, you can't copyright the word Armadillo or Lobster. So they definitely could have named those things just anything that kind of referenced the show. And then finally, last but not least, we have day at number 12 here. I'm really hoping this is something just like super exciting. Honestly, I know this is a beauty advent calendar, but if there is like a cool Friends ornament in here or something, that would be kind of fun. Oh, it's not an ornament, it's a mirror, but still, this is still actually kind of cute. And for somebody who's buying this, like, not for the beauty stuff, not for, like, it being just a regular advent calendar, but because they're a fan of Friends, I feel like they would appreciate this kind of stuff more than just, like, a random lip scrub with nothing to do with the show. Next one we have in here is a little mirror, and on the front it is just the frame that hangs on the door of the apartment. I actually think this is kind of cute. I think this is more of a cool thing to have than, like, the little round revolution mirrors that we've seen so far. To me, this is more, like, a fun piece for somebody who really enjoys the show. It just makes it a little bit more evident to me that like the other stuff definitely could have been more themed. And if you're concerned about like well maybe everybody doesn't like friends and like doesn't want friends stuff slathered all over their makeup products. If that's the case then you probably shouldn't buy a friends advent calendar. I fully expected all of this to be very heavily friends influenced but it wasn't and that honestly was kind of disappointing. But all right you guys those were the three advent calendars from Revolution Beauty. Let me know what you guys thought about them. Which one was your favorite? Which one was your least favorite? How incompetent do you think I am? Um, leave all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. I love reading and responding to them and uh, we'll have many more advent calendars to come. So just thank you guys so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. I <laughs> hope so you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!